What's up guys, Dale here, uh, fitness body work specialist out here in Southern California. I'm rushing just because we got Tara here and um, it was a short minute, last minute thing. Um, she's telling me that she has knee pain. We're gonna go through some posing assessments to see what's going on. Um, she tells me that her hamstring is tight, um, going into her knee, going down her foot. So let's see what's going on here. Um, let's go right under the light, Tara. And then let me just see the back poses because should I pull my shorts up? It's uh, actually, yeah, so we can see the tie-in. Mm -hmm. Yep, so left side, oh yeah. I mean, it's not super noticeable. Probably not right now, just since I got work done last week. Like you're clearly winning with it, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, do your front pose for me, let me just see how. Yeah, you can't really tell. So do you usually lock your knee like that on the front pose? Mm -hmm. This probably has something to do with it. Yeah, it could, it could be. Um, let's for sure focus on that left knee. I'm gonna work on your quad. Do you not want me to cup you? I can not cup you. You can. Because I just don't want to mark you up because I don't know if you're gonna do a show soon. Coach. What do you think? <laughs> how's your inflammation after body work? It definitely did help to keep my it like helped my quad look fuller after right. he did cup it because this quad is smaller than my right can you just pull uh turn around shirt up i just want to see if there's like a maybe your my lower line back. is tight oh yeah my lower back is super messed up too don't don't fully flex yeah i mean maybe a little bit here what mm -hmm. do you think like when you hold your back pose do you feel like this tight? yep absolutely what about this side not as much. Ah, okay. So let me, I'll hit that. Cause that's definitely something to take into consideration. Yeah. This Q, this QL is always mm -hmm, mm -hmm. definitely okay. tight. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So left side entirely. Um, this so is probably out. too. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Morning. Are you going to fix your thing? Okay, so first I'm gonna check the hamstring. So you haven't signed the contract for the show. It's just like tentative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're already, already gonna go for Ashley's athlete. So might as well just hop in. Yeah. yeah right. You won already though. I know, that's why I'm kind of like, eh, is it worth it? So plantar fasciitis is only on the left? It's on my right, but not as bad. And then let's go here. I'm also pretty hypermobile. I noticed. I was a gymnast for 18 years. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And I was a lefty in gymnastics. What does that mean? So I lefty. think. So everything I did, I started from my left side. Like, for example, I do my cartwheels on mm. my left side. It should be glute. Mm hmm So prioritize for me. The knee is number one, you'd say? I'd probably say my hamstring. Mm. The tie-in specifically or just the hamstring? Tie yeah, my, the tie-in. Cause that's, it's um, causing me to not have as much range of motion mm. when I'm doing like RDLs or. I'm gonna check your QL. So lightly hamstring curl into my hand. Lightly, perfect. Deep breath, exhale. And then keep breathing, deep breath. There you go. Exhale, very good. And one more time. Exhale. Good job. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Deep breath, exhale. Good job. Hit it. Nice. One more.
Jesus. <laughs> it's weird that you feel tightness being this hypermobile. Push into my shoulder. Three, two, one, relax. Nice, push. Three, two, one, relax and hold that stretch. Good job. Good bend. So this one, hamstring curl into my shoulder. Three, two, one, relax. Push. Three, two, one, relax. And push. Okay. But do you bruise easily? And does it stay bruised? It usually doesn't stay yeah, bruised. It usually doesn't stay bruised. But so he was having me do like a bunch of um, like dynamic movements, movements with it on. So I feel it a lot like right, in, right. in, in there. Let's see where you're exactly where you're tight. I'm just going to do one pump. Okay. So it's not so much pressure. It shouldn't mark you up like crazy. Jess told me that she won, she won every time I left the mark. I'm like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's like a good luck thing. I don't know. Well, everything that Jess says and I do, it works for me, so. All right then, let's mark you up. <laughs> okay, um, leg extension, full flex at the top. Oh, it feels good. Good, let's do 10 of those. Go ahead, come back down, and just make sure you get the full leg uh, quad extension. Yeah, two. Ah, oh, that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Three, it doesn't hurt though, right? No, that doesn't hurt. Four, good. Five. No tendon tremor, that's okay. Six. Seven. Eight, very good. Nine, one more. Whoa. Ten, good, relax, come back down. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, that felt really good. Minimal marking. Cool. Do you know why it gets tight here? It just is. I don't know. I've always kind of been tighter on this side. I mean, I, this, my left hip is definitely more anterior tilted than my right. So that could be something from me, like, posing. Um... But even like years ago, there was like a huge knot, like right there. When every time I would go over, go over it on the foam roller, it would like, you know, kind of like do that, like rock back and forth. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't do it on the on the right. So it's definitely been there for a long time. So. I push into my shoulder. Four, three, two, one. Relax. There you go, push, three, two, one, relax. Hold that stretch, nice job. Nice. Okay, so just like the what we did before, but now with hamstring curls right there. Yep, go for it, three, two, one, relax. Go, three, two, one, relax, and I hold the stretch nice. Okay, just chill. Let me move it. Holy crap, your, your leg is almost straight in this position. That's crazy. T band. No um, like ligament, knee ligament injuries that you know of? No. I did have um, Ashkin Slaughter when I was a kid. What? <laughs> when I was in gymnastics. Oh, wow. Um, 
But yeah, I can't remember any like major injuries. You know, like the first time that I ever really injured myself was when I sprained my ankle back in 2019. Mm -hmm. I was doing a back tuck off of one of my friends at Equinox. Oh my God. He was holding a plank and uh -huh. we had this great idea for me to do a back tuck off of him when he was holding the plank. <laughs> and when I jumped, his core gave out. So then when I was like in the middle of the air, I had no momentum. So I just landed straight on my ankle. Oh my God. <laughs> and in the middle of the Equinox gym floor in front of all of the members. Oh my God. And I got in trouble. <laughs> Is he on video? Yeah, it's on video. He never sent it to me though, because I didn't want to see it. Oh man. I'm good? Yeah. Painful? A little bit. My pain tolerance is uh, not very high. <laughs> it's Pretty okay. Low. Well, you're used to this, right? Like you've gotten... Kind forward. of. I mean, yeah, I've been going to um, Jake. He has a total motion. Mm -hmm. He's been scraping me a little bit. What has your judge feedback been? Well, before the shows before I won, I was coming in too lean. <laughs> so Tyler was saying he wanted to see fuller quads. Um, when I walked, there was a lot of separation in my quads, so he wanted to see you know fuller quads. Mm -hmm. um, that was pretty much the biggest feedback. And to bring in a tighter waist. Um, tighter waist with fuller quads? What the? <laughs> yeah, so it's, <laughs> you know, it's tough. Um, I've been waist training mm. for the first time in a while. It helping? It's helping a lot. Um, because of being a gymnast, my lower back is just so thick. Oh, it yeah. makes my waist look bigger on stage than it really is. Because my waist is 21 inches. But when I'm on stage, my lower back is so thick that it looks just like wide. So the waist trainer that I have, it has like a legit back brace in it. So it's really helping me um, keep my core braced and mm -hmm. not go into my lower back. So when I was wearing the, the belt, it was really only, you know, really only right Have you done a cup drag before? No. <laughs> yeah, just breathe through it. All right, going over IT band, best of luck. <laughs> Actually feels good. You're sick. <laughs> this is usually when people will kick me. Like that's really? why I literally will hold people's feet here because they'll like kick. Yeah. Oof. It just really feels like it's like releasing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, like... it's really good. Yeah, that was nice. So what I wanted to do for you, because you said knee, 
So I'm gonna obviously do your IT band here, but there's another band that goes down your mm -hmm. calf this way. So I'm gonna hit that too. I know that one's. Uh... I did used to have um, shin splints gotcha. when I played lacrosse. You're just an athlete, aren't you? Yeah, I got a, all the athlete pains. Because when I was, so I was a gymnast, but then when I got into high school, I started playing lacrosse and field hockey. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the transition of being barefoot my whole life and then going into running the mile in shoes on, you know, grass, that, I don't know, caused something in my anterior tibialis to flare up. There's a, it looks like a cut right here. Just let me know if it's uh, painful, okay? Okay, it's probably a mosquito bite. Did you hear about the, the, the angle biter mosquitoes that have invaded like yeah. LA down to San Diego? Yeah, I got them all over me. <laughs> oh my God. The other thing I want to do for your knee is an, uh, it's called the knee distraction or kneecap distraction. Mm -hmm. um, that one's usually fun because it feels like I'm pulling your kneecap pulling off. Pulling the patella off. Yep. And going into your joints. Yep. On top of like the weight that you're lifting now. Yep. Yeah, I was in an off season for quite a while, so I was pushing, you know, heavy weight for a well, long time. Paid off. It did. Thing. It's one of the best calves I've ever felt so far. <laughs> like you, you truly take care of your body. I try. I asked Jess this question too. Do you think all the top pros um, get body work? No. Really? She she told she was like they have to. I don't, I, because I wasn't before this year. I, I didn't start doing this until this year. So I know that other pros aren't doing it. But most of them don't even stretch before the gym. Yeah, they don't even warm up. They just, they go, just right go, right go into working out. Yep. Mm. I hear Kobu. Kobu. <laughs> yeah. How are you not reacting? This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, it just, it feels good. Everyone, she's just sadistic. I think that's the I'm word. usually, I'm usually such a wuss, but I don't know, I feel like I just trust you. I don't know. Well, I try not to hurt people, that's the thing. Yeah, I know, like it's, it's not, not painful, really. Is this the Olympia suit, or are you just getting adjusted? Yeah, this is going to be for the Olympia. We're going to stick with the mint, I think. The winning color. Yeah. Dang, you're it. Feels good. Knee decompression. Okay, so what I need you to do, Tara, is basically just glide your foot up and straighten it out. I'm just gonna make sure the cups don't go anywhere. Okay, go ahead, 10 times, that's all the way, and try to bring your heel to your butt, basically. Perfect, you should feel like the max, max stretch at the top. Okay, come back down, good job. 
was that? One, go. Two. All right, you better promise me these cuff marks will go away in time. Go. Again. Three. Come back down. Hold up. Let me get the back one. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right, finding a lot of resistance. Hmm? Is there a lot of resistance? A little bit. Five. Oh. Good. Come back down. Six. Good job. Go. Seven. Very good. Eight. job relax all the way back down so what I need you to do this so I'm trying to get your center quad really loose because that affects your knee directly what I need you to do is basically a glute bridge full flex okay. at the top so every time you fully ex, uh, extend the hips you'll get a quad stretch okay. it should be these top two What's up, AJ? so right there girl single leg or double Both legs. Uh, just double because we don't need that much um, tension into the in the glutes just give me some feedback on how it feels at the top. It should stretch this top two here yeah, the most. Stretch. Good, again. One. Two, very good. Three, yeah. So the more you hip extend, the more you'll get these top two. But this is, this is perfect. Let's go three more. Two more. Very good. Oops. One more. And relax. Good job. That's perfect. There cool. goes. Cool. So just like a light. There you go. The knee clicking, can you like recreate that consistently? Yeah, give me a foam roller. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be able to do it. What do you do with a foam my, roller? My knee does, I mean it clicks when I walk or when I like bend and straighten it or if I've been sitting with my knees bent for a while and I get up, I have to crack it. It's too uncomfortable. so good I'm basically doing what I do to people with like ACL injuries really yeah that's why I asked you if you had any ligament tears or something I could have I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like a slight I think you would be walking it would be hard to walk yeah if you really tore something I honestly think it's just all the jumping and compression from gymnastic days. Mm -hmm. The other one that I see this more commonly is like previous soccer players. 
So like this yeah, is like size. this is like their plant foot. So yep. they, they're this hard. This is my plant foot. Ah, oh, there you go. Yep. There you go. I wonder if it's like meniscus then. I don't know. I've never had like an MRI or anything on it. And that might be very eye-opening for you. Yeah. It's like you don't have a knee. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I don't want to flip you over back and forth, so I'm just going to go here with the hamstring. Whoa, yeah. Inside hamstring for sure. Like right at the tie-in. Yep. Okay, slowly straighten out your leg for me. Straighten it? Yeah. Yep, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Come on, come on. Okay, come back down. Perfect. Again, this we're going to go five reps on that. Two, three more. Three, two more, doing good. Last one coming up. And done. Good job, come back down. Nice job. Oh wow, yeah, the red marks are already dissipating. <laughs> wow, your quad feels like flame and young. <laughs> Super tender. T-band feels good. Okay, so that left side, we gotta get your lateral.